On December 18, 2025, the most sensitive search for extraterrestrial intelligence ever conducted on an interstellar object was confirmed to have ended not with a bang, but with a profound silence of significant scientific importance. As interstellar comet 3I Atlas hurtled past Earth at a distance of 168 million miles, the Green Bank Telescope, a massive 100-meter diameter dish nestled in the radio-quiet mountains of West Virginia, stared at the uninvited guest scanning the electromagnetic spectrum for the faintest sign of man-made technology. The results of this risky observation have established a strict upper limit on the likelihood of extraterrestrial presence. If 3i Atlas is an active probe, it is emitting signals at a power lower than that of a typical household light bulb, effectively ruling out any active positioning signals or high bandwidth telemetry data directed toward us. This moment marks the culmination of months of tense speculation and is a decisive data point in our ongoing quest to distinguish between natural galactic debris and artifacts of other civilizations. By confirming that this object emitted no radio signals even with a transmitter power of only 0.1 watt, humanity officially closed the door on the alien hypothesis regarding this special visitor, shifting the narrative from science fiction back to the equally fascinating field of comet physics. To understand why this observation has attracted particular attention from the scientific community, one must look directly at the unusual nature of the object. 3i Atlas is not an anonymous wandering rock, but an interstellar object that entered the solar system at an extremely high velocity, hurtling in from the galactic north, reaching speeds of over 80 kilometers per second at its peak, so fast that it is completely unstoppable by the sun's gravitational pull. Discovered in the summer of 2025 by the Atlas Sky Survey Program, 3i Atlas was immediately confirmed as a messenger from another star system, becoming the third interstellar object ever recorded by humanity, after Oumuamua and 2i Borisov. Unlike its two predecessors, 3i Atlas offers a rare but more accessible opportunity. It is brighter and closer than Borisov and exhibits a stable orbit and behavior, causing less disturbance than Oumuamua an object that had puzzled scientists for many years. Oumuamua's controversial scientific legacy cast a shadow over this entire observation plan. The first visitor had shown unusual acceleration without any signs of gas eruption, forcing some reputable scientists to seriously consider the possibility that it was an artificial structure, perhaps even a type of light-laden sail. Although 3i Atlas in morphology resembles a typical comet, the Breakthrough Listen team remains steadfast in its core principle of exploratory science. You cannot discover what you are not actively searching for. The possibility, however small, that an interstellar object could be a hibernating probe or an automated data collector made the search for technological signs no longer mere speculation, but a legitimate scientific requirement. Therefore, the Green Bank Telescope was chosen for this mission. It is the world's largest fully adjustable radio telescope, sensitive enough to pick up signals that have wandered through space for billions of years. During the 3i Atlas observation campaign, the telescope was configured to scan a wide frequency range from 1 to 12 gigahertz. This frequency band holds a special place in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It encompasses Earth's microwave window, where galactic background noise is at its lowest, and the atmosphere is nearly transparent. Within this region lies a water hole, a quiet frequency range between the spectral lines of hydrogen and hydroxyl, long considered a natural rendezvous point for interstellar communication. According to the laws of physics, if an extraterrestrial civilization were to build a probe capable of transmitting signals through deep space, they would almost certainly have chosen this very frequency band to minimize attenuation. By targeting that region of the radio spectrum, scientists tuned their receiver to the cosmic emergency channel, where, if 3i Atlas truly had something to say, humanity wouldn't be mishearing the frequency. The observation method employed this time was designed with high rigor and clear redundancy mechanisms to minimize the risk of false positives, a problem that has plagued SETI programs for decades. The research team applied a technique called nodding, in which the telescope alternately turns between the target object and a clear area of sky without a known source. This on-off cycle acts as a fundamental filter, allowing for the separation of local interference from signals potentially originating from outside Earth. In the modern context, the radio spectrum is no longer a quiet space. 
It is saturated with the technological footprint of humanity itself. From GPS navigation satellites and commercial satellite constellations like Starlink to high-altitude aircraft and ground-based radar systems. If a signal appears when the telescope is pointed at 3i Atlas but remains intact when the antenna is turned to another region of the sky, that signal is immediately classified as man-made interference. Conversely, a noteworthy technological signature is only considered valid if it disappears during the background observation phase and only reappears when the antenna is precisely locked onto the coordinates of the interstellar object. Throughout its observation campaign, the Green Bank Telescope performed these tilting movements with extremely high mechanical precision, maintaining the stability necessary for sophisticated measurements. The result was the collection of terabytes of raw voltage data detailing the fluctuating radio wave environment around 3i Atlas during its closest approach to Earth. This is considered one of the most complete and noise-free radio data sets ever obtained from an interstellar object, opening up possibilities for deeper analysis not only of its inherent nature, but also for bolder questions about the true origin and purpose of this visitor from interstellar space. Processing this massive data set forced the research team to rely on Turbo SETI, a specialized deep analysis software system designed specifically to track narrow band signals. In the chaotic landscape of the universe, natural sources are essentially broadband radio stations. Quasars, pulsars, and gas clouds all emit radio waves across a wide range of frequencies. Conversely, an artificial source, if it exists, would behave far more efficiently by compressing energy into a narrow and stable frequency, maximizing the range and clarity of the signal. This fundamental difference forms the basis of SETI's search strategy. Turbo SETI's algorithms scoured data across the 1 to 12 gigahertz spectrum, hunting for concentrated sharp energy peaks, typical signs of an intentional transmitter. However, this process was far from simple. Because 3i Atlas was hurtling through the solar system at an extremely high velocity relative to Earth, any presumed signal emanating from the object would be heavily affected by the Doppler effect, causing the frequency to shift constantly, sliding up or down over time, much like an ambulance siren changing pitch as it whizzes past a listener. To avoid missing such signals, the software must account for thousands of different frequency drift speed scenarios, essentially smoothing the data to reveal signal structures that might be obscured by the relative motion of the interstellar object. This computational challenge is enormous, requiring vast processing power to ensure that an anomalous signal, if it exists, is not mistakenly dismissed as background noise. In this context, each calculation is not just a data processing step, but an effort to avoid missing a message that might be coming from beyond Earth, even if its probability lies on the fine line between science an audacious hypothesis. The sensitivity achieved from this observational configuration is considered unprecedented in the history of interstellar object research. Analysis shows that the Green Bank Telescope is capable of detecting a transmitter with an effective isotropic radiation power of only about 0.1 watt. On a familiar technological scale, this energy level is equivalent to the power output of a typical mobile phone or a low-power handheld radio a figure seemingly too small to overcome the vastness of space. For comparison, most human-launched deep space probes, including Voyager and New Horizons, use radio transmitters with power ranging from 12 to 20 watts to maintain communication with Earth from the edge of the solar system. If 3i Atlas possessed a communication system that was only a fraction as powerful as the level of technology humanity had achieved since the 1970s, the Green Bank Telescope would have recognized it as a prominent and clear signal in its data. The failure to detect any signals exceeding 0.1 watt raises significant limitations. If 3i Atlas is indeed an artificial structure, it must either be completely inactive, maintaining absolute radio silence, or employing a completely different form of communication, such as optical lasers or even neutrino beams technologies outside the radio spectrum currently monitored by humanity. In any scenario, this result not only significantly narrows the hypothetical space, but also makes the question of the true nature of this interstellar visitor both clearer and more mysterious. Despite the highly sensitive search operation, the final result was that no anomalies were detected. The initial scan recorded thousands of matching signals, a familiar phenomenon in the context of the dense and turbulent radio wave environment around Earth. However, rigorous filtering procedures quickly narrowed this list. 
Signals that appeared when the antenna was not pointed directly at the target were eliminated, as were signals that did not exhibit Doppler drift consistent with the known orbit and velocity of the 3i Atlas. The remaining candidates, after multiple rounds of screening, were then compared against a database of artificial satellites, space debris, and recorded radio sources. Each potential signal was identified as a product of human-made technology. After the entire analysis process, there were no longer any signs that could be attributed to a source from the interstellar object itself. On the radio spectrum, 3i Atlas was completely silent. Lee, while this result might disappoint those hoping for a first contact scenario, scientifically speaking, the lack of detection is particularly significant. It transforms the hypothesis of an artificial artifact from a bold speculation into a validated and refuted hypothesis for this particular case. As a result, astronomers can set aside speculative scenarios, focus resources on deciphering the natural characteristics of 3i Atlas, and build a more rigorous scientific framework for future interstellar encounters. The complete silence in the radio spectrum recorded by the Green Bank Telescope is not an isolated piece of data, but closely matches multi-wavelength observations from other observatories thus forming a consistent picture of the natural nature of 3i Atlas. While radio astronomers patiently listen for any suspicious transmission signals, optical and infrared telescopes, including the James Webb Space Telescope, focused on looking directly at the object's composition and structure. Analysis revealed the presence of cyanide, diatomic carbon, and water ice, typical chemical compounds considered familiar fingerprints of comets in the solar system. As 3i Atlas moved deeper into the vicinity of the sun, optical observations also captured the formation of a distinct greenish halo with a faint elongated tail behind it. These are classic phenomena created when ice in the comet's nucleus sublimes under the influence of solar radiation, releasing gas and dust into space. Details that had previously fueled much speculation such as the object's small but measurable acceleration due to gravity, were finally successfully modeled using standard comet physics models in which the asymmetrical outflowing gas acts as a natural, light, but continuous engine, pushing the nucleus off its purely gravitational orbit. The coincidence between the lack of any detected radio signals and clear optical evidence of volatile gas escape strongly reinforced the scientific consensus. Accordingly, 3i Atlas is not a silent man-made structure, but a dusty mass of ice and rock ejected from a distant planetary system that was evolving or disintegrating millions of years ago. After a long period of aimless drift in interstellar space, it only coincidentally crossed our solar system, leaving behind a brief but significant moment of observation that offered deeper insights into interstellar objects. The profound significance of this research extends beyond identifying 3i Atlas itself. It reflects a clear leap forward in humanity's overall capabilities for planetary defense and extraterrestrial intelligence search programs. The ability to rapidly transition from detecting a rapidly moving interstellar object to deploying highly sensitive, precisely calibrated radio observations within months is considered a significant achievement in terms of scientific organization and logistics. For decades, the deployment times of large telescopes were typically scheduled years in advance, leaving virtually no chance of responding to unexpected targets like interstellar objects. The 3i Atlas tracking campaign has demonstrated a new reality where the scientific community can operate more flexibly based on near real-time data sharing between optical survey teams and radio observatories. This level of readiness is crucial as the next interstellar object could appear without warning. Current statistical models even suggest that at any given time, thousands of interstellar objects could be silently traversing a region of space comparable to Neptune's orbit. As survey telescopes become more sensitive and comprehensive, the number of discoveries is sure to increase. The process is refined during the 3i Atlas observation, from frequency band selection and tilt adjustment strategies to Doppler effect processing algorithms will become the blueprint for future campaigns. On a deeper level, this entire effort is like a large-scale rehearsal, preparing for the moment when, if it truly exists, signals from beyond Earth will finally be heard.
Furthermore, the conclusion that 3i Atlas is of entirely natural origin opens up a cosmic connection in a different, quieter, but no less profound way. If 3i Atlas is indeed an interstellar comet, then the striking similarities between it and comets in our solar system suggest that planet-forming processes may be universal throughout the Milky Way. The fact that a star system at a distance of light years could produce an object containing water, carbon, and nitrogen, the fundamental elements that contributed to the formation of Earth, implies that the chemical conditions necessary for life are not the exclusive privilege of our planetary system. In that sense, 3i Atlas is like a geological sample from a distant world, delivered to Earth's vicinity without any retrieval technology. By analyzing its isotopic ratios and chemical composition, scientists are conducting a form of extraterrestrial geological exploration from a safe distance without leaving Earth's orbit. The absolute silence on radio waves simply confirms that this package arrived without a sender's address or guiding message, forcing humanity to trace its origin using the silent but precise language of chemistry and physics, rather than the voice of the stars. As 3i Atlas continues its journey away from us, expected to pass Jupiter's orbit in March 2026 before permanently leaving the solar system, it will not carry any direct answers, but will leave behind a massive data legacy that will be analyzed for years to come. The lack of any detected signals in the 1 to 12 gigahertz range has become a crucial constraint, helping to refine the parameters of the Drake equation, particularly those variables related to the prevalence of extraterrestrial probes operating in the galaxy. This finding forces scientists to confront an uncomfortable but necessary reality. If the Milky Way has ever been or is being explored or even colonized by advanced civilizations, they do not appear to have left behind the noisy, multi-directional radio signals that humans have traditionally imagined. This silence suggests that traditional search strategies may need adjustment. Instead of simply listening for radio waves, future SETIs may have to shift their focus to other directions, such as searching for laser pulses in optical SETIs, or expanding to artifact-seeking SETIs, hunting for more indirect signs, such as unusual thermal radiation from Dyson globular stellar scale structures. From this perspective, the silence of 3i Atlas is not a failure, but a directional data point. It narrows the search space eliminates some ineffective hypotheses and helps future researchers avoid continuing to chase ghosts in the same frequency range. In space exploration science, knowing where there is nothing is sometimes just as important as finding what exists. In short, Breakthrough Listen's 3i Atlas observation campaign is a clear testament to the spirit of scientific curiosity and how humanity confronts the unknown. Faced with a mysterious object from interstellar space, humanity did not let imagination or fear guide its conclusions. Instead, we pointed our most sophisticated observational tools at the sky, posed a direct question, and let physics, mathematics, and modern technology provide the answer. The conclusion that 3i Atlas was completely silent on radio waves, possessing a natural and ancient nature, does not diminish the magnificence of the event. On the contrary, it reminds us that this vast universe not only contains the potential for alien intelligence, but is also teeming with wandering fragments carrying the memories of star systems that formed and disintegrated long before Earth appeared. And for the first time in history, humankind possesses enough eyes and ears to truly observe and listen to these silent messengers. The search, therefore, is not over. It continues not because we've found a sensational answer this time, but because this very experience has taught us how to ask the right questions, how to listen more effectively, and how to better prepare for the moment when the next interstellar visitor unexpectedly appears in the sky. If you don't want to miss out on science stories, cosmology, and discoveries that could change how we view our place in the universe, subscribe to the channel and follow us to join us on this never-ending journey of space exploration.